Now, way up in the mountain, when winter time comes and the snow gets real deep, I mean, it gets so deep you can't even hardly walk in. And if you're up there when it starts to snow, you can't move. Well, there was an old man and his wife lived up in his cabin up in the mountains. And the winter time came and it started snowing. And it snowed and snowed like it never snowed before. The snow got deeper and deeper and deeper. Well, they were stuck in that cabin. Pretty soon they ran out of food. They started getting hungry and hungry and hungry. And every morning that old man, he'd get out there and he'd, he'd crawl through that snow with his life. He'd look for food, something to shoot, something to kill to eat. But he couldn't find it. He'd look and look and couldn't find it. Come back, and they were running out of firewood too. Well, one morning, the old man got up and he looked, and there was just enough firewood left for one more fire. Just one more fire. And that old man called his wife and said, "Old woman, and I'm going out to look for food today, and I know I'm going to find something today." Don't you be burning this firewood while I'm gone. Don't you burn it, because if you do, when I get back, we won't have anything to cook me. Well, he left to go out hunting. Well, as soon as he left, that old woman, she stood up and she said, Huh, who does he think he is telling me what to do? If I want a fire, I'll build a fire. Now, she got all that firewood gathered up. Put it in the fireplace and she lit it. She got her a big old roaring fire. It's burning just real good. And you know what? It's kind of real cold in there. So she got real close to that fire. And she was warm in her hands. And oh, she burnt the end of her finger. Mm. Mm. That didn't taste too bad. She was awful hungry now. So she just gnawed into that finger right off. She stuck the rest of it in the fire and cooked it. And ate that part. Then stuck her whole hand in the fire and ate it. <laughs> stuck her arm in the fire, both arms, until she ate her whole self all up. And there wasn't nothing left but a skeleton. And she heard some noises outside. She went over and she sat in the corner, real quiet. And it was the old man coming home. He came in the door, and the first thing he saw, of course, was that was that fire burned down to nothing but ashes. He said, Oh woman! I told you not to light the fire and burn up all the firewood. And he threw this big old deer down on the floor. He said, now, you don't have anything to cook this deer with. And then out of the corner, he heard this voice. And he said, that's okay. I like my meat raw. And that old skeleton came walking out of the corner. So straight toward that old man. He turned around, he ran out the door just as fast as he could, and there was that skeleton right behind him coming through the woods. And no matter how fast he ran, there was that skeleton always behind him. And the old teeth just clattering, making noise. He run that, he come out of the woods, and when he come out of the woods, there was a big old cliff with the river down below. And there wasn't any place for him to go. And he could hear that skeleton coming through, breaking limbs off and stuff coming through the woods. Well, he looked up on top of the hill and there was a house up there. And he ran up to that house. And he knocked on the door. And this woman came to the door. And she was a magic woman. She could do magic. And he said, you've got to help me get across this river. There's a skeleton coming through the woods. And she's going to eat me all up. And the woman said, well, tell you what. You chop me a big old pile of firewood and I'll get you across the river. Well, he listened and he could hear that skeleton coming through the woods. He grabbed an axe and he chopped faster than he'd ever chopped in his life. He got a big old pile of firewood and he ran up there and said, you got to get me across that river. And the woman said, okay. And then she started stretching and getting tall and tall. So she was so tall she leaned over and put her hands on the other side of the cliff and stretched out like the board across it. That old man, he jumped on her back and he ran across to the other side. As soon as he got across the other side, she started shrinking back down. 
And she shrunk back down to her regular size. Just about the time she did. Out of the woods. From that old state. Just to walk in that long rat. She said, I saw what you did. And you get me across the river too. <clears throat> that old woman said, I ain't supposed to. I said, well, I tell you what. Either you get me across the river to eat him, or I'm going to eat him. She said, okay, okay. So she started to stretch it and get longer and taller. She stretched out tall enough to put her hand across the river. Leaned on. That old skeleton put a foot on there and started walking across. Walking across. Got right about the middle. Them old bones on that skeleton feet started tickling that old woman's ribs. And she started laughing and giggling, started to sway and a bucket. And that old skeleton hollered, stop, I'm going to fall off. And that old woman, all she could do was just keep on laughing and wiggling and bucket. And that skeleton fell right off and bam, down in the rocks. And busted into a million pieces all over the place. That old man, he run back across, the, across that old lady. Back you know, they got married. And he lived there forever and ever, chopping firewood. And, that old, and late at night, when it get real quiet, and all you could hear was the water kind of flowing down the river below. And she could hear those old bones just dragging across those rocks, trying to get back together. Dragging and dragging and dragging. Someday, Someday, them bones are going to come back. What do they do? That old woman's going to climb up that hill. You don't want to be there at the river. 